Hi guys, Matt here from Matt Design, and in this video I want to show you the basics of Concrete 5 and how to kind of get to grips with it. So this is a site that we've recently completed and I have the owner's consent to use it as a demo piece. So uh, let's jump in and get started. So whenever you've got a Concrete 5 site, no matter what version it is, you will always be looking for the slash login. So all you do is put slash login at the front of your browser, I mean at the front of your domain there okay this will take you through to this little kind of login portal with a nice picture sometimes that will change uh, so don't be alarmed if it does and then just press login button I've already got it saved and that will take you inside and you'll get redirected back to the home page and what you will see is this little toolbar at the top and this kind of enables us to edit the pages and do some stuff uh, within the pages so the um, unique difference between kind of uh, WordPress and Concrete 5 and some of the other systems that you might be accustomed to is well, uh, Concrete 5 is a front-end editor whereas some of the other more popular ones are back-end editors so what I mean by that is if you press on this little symbol which is your edit button this I can kind of edit the page on this on, on site so every area that I hover over you will see kind of um, editable regions like like editable sections pop up so as you can see here I've got site wide header site wide contact details nothing here that means that's locked down so you can't edit this here we've got home intro banner here we've got main top here we've got main right here we've got testimonial mid here we've got free sample middle so all of these things are editable so um, let's clear up a few things so with the blocks so it's a block editor so the site will comprise of blocks so um, you will have some parts will be an image some parts will be lists so for example this is a list blog list so if you click on this what you'll see is a pro blog list so it's loading in all the blogs and you configure it there Whereas if you came, jumped on this bit and edited this, you get like a little text editor kind of pop up. So this little thing will pop up and you can kind of just highlight, make bold, kind of put line breaks in. So kind of do all this stuff, kind of set the kind of alignment of the text a bit better, bold it up if you wanted to. Um, you've got kind of four WYSIWYG bullet points uh, links so if you again wanted to link this through to something else so you just select the bit you want to link click on that insert link it will ask you do you want to use a page so here I'm going to go to sitemap so that takes me through to the sitemap um, and I can link it through to service or any other page I want to do I'm not going to do that now um, and yeah you can add images where you want to add them add some styles indent text tables you kind of get the drift okay so that's dead simple so I'll just press cancel um, and then you've got different elements again like I say so this one for example is a block we've created just for ease of use so for example for here we've got name so pricing name search engine optimized content so that's the description image you can add an image price price um, and then you can link it through so here again I can choose a page I want to link it through again services so you could say on the button as well so this is link text Oops, so let's put in caps you get yours now Press save and that will change on the button but it'll have a knock on effect there okay so some things will move out of alignment some won't so you have to be careful and bear that in mind 
but at least you can see what's happening with yours and adjust accordingly. A lot of the other systems are, um, you kind of press save, have to open a new tab, refresh, whereas this one you kind of seen it happen on the fly, which is which is what we like. Um, yeah, so again, a lot of this is the same thing. You'll just have styles allocated to certain parts, so to give the space in, this has already been uh, set in the style sheet, so some things you won't be able to control, but you can kind of highlight text, make it a different colour. I wouldn't advise that because you will, it's one of the quickest ways to ruin a website. Um, but yeah, that's it really. That's the kind of simple bits and bobs you can do as a basic editor. Um, up here, what you will find, so here when I'm highlighting these bits, it's kind of going green. And then here when I edit, highlight this, you'll notice it's going blue. And you'll notice it says site wide. So what that means is anything I change inside this section here will go across the whole site. So if I put in example and press save. Oh, bit of text. It's, it's gone in, uh, it's in there. It's because it's not. There we go. Let's put it on the A tag and that'll show up then. Let's, let's put, give us a call. There we go. So that should change that. There we go. Obviously the little icon's not kind of set up to be floating over there. But as you can see, that's changed the text. And then if I now press publish. So once I'm happy, I can kind of click on that and press publish. And then that will go across every page on this website now because it's up here, it's in the, the site wide. And you've got the same kind of anything you change down here will change as well. So I'm just going to take that out quickly for you. So kill that. Okay, so save. That's done. Um, so what you will find as well, uh, so I've kind of come through to another page. What you'll be seeing is these kind of things that say empty main area, empty sidebar. Now, I've used the page template. So to find out what page template you're using, you click on that little cog button. You've got a tab here called design and that'll slide out and show you it's set to right sidebar and you can kind of expand this down and choose different page types for your needs. Okay, some will be configured right, some won't. We might not have used some of them in the build. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, you can kind of change it on the fly no matter what. So if I, for example, just set that to home, you'll see the backgrounds and all that kind of stuff change. So your content's disappeared because the right the right blocks aren't in place for the for the content. So let me just kill that. So if you if you do a change and you're not happy, see I could go back here and just set that back um, using the design template, or I can click on this little green tab and just say discard my changes. So all I've changed is a template, so it'll kind of roll it back for you, which is quite nice. So um, with that in mind, so if we go back into edit mode using the button, so you see how it's kind of rolled that back now. So best get rid of him again. So let's kill that. Okay, so as I say, you've got these things. So you can add blocks or you can drag and drop stuff along. So if you, for example, here wanted to put that there and you wanted to, uh, let's put a sign up box or a call to action. So here we've got a thing called stacks and that leads me on quite nicely to stacks. So stacks are blocks set up so they can, when, when they're used, um, they are content, con, continuously the same, so consistently the same. So I couldn't get, couldn't find my word then. Um, so 
no matter where they used on the website they will look the same have the same text have the same button links all that kind of stuff in there so if I publish that now and I click this link this will take us through to the uh, get your personalized blog sample page so obviously they can fill in the form um, you've got a testimonial here but I've also got it on some of the blog pages so if we go through to the blog you've got this here so that's again a stack so if I for example change this let's click on that and say you wanted to change the text or you just wanted to change the text on the button you'll come through to this little thing called a stack and we can click on that and again this uses the same old blocks so you can kind of get your free sample pack um, so here I want to put I'd like a free sample and press save and that's going to ask me to approve so I'll approve what I'm going to do now is click back so as you can see that button has changed so if we go back to the services tab as well same place we had it so that's changed as well so it's a very handy way to build blocks and kind of put things in in um in place that you want consistently around the site so your calls to action your sign up forms all that kind of stuff um so that's really the basics of the, the on-site editing like the on-page editing so as you can see you can change stuff move stuff around add blocks and that's what we love about this system is the flexibility it gives you you're not rigidly set to a template or a, a, a widget on a page that kind of stuff you can kind of free free flow your content based on the editable regions available um, but adding a page is dead simple as well so to do that uh, we go to a thing called the dashboard so here we click on dashboard and this gives you all the things inside the site so you've got sitemap so that's where your pages are stored files members reports all that kind of stuff stuff like forms are stored in there but we don't generally use forms because we link them a lot of our uh, web forms to crms members again you don't need that as users pages and themes that's again where we set the kind of page templates you use conversations if someone's filling out your blog comments that kind of stuff stacks and blocks obviously obviously blocks where you set your blocks and where you set your stacks and then extend concrete five we can add different bits the thing i'm looking for and i'm interested in to add a page is a thing called a sitemap so what we've got here is all our pages inside our website so if that's a bit distracting you can kind of open it and close it there okay um so if i want to add a page to the nav so let's click on this and say add a page click on page so you can have different page types for different purposes um, whereas this one I'm going to put what people say because we want to show our testimonials don't need anything in description page template I'm going to set to right sidebar it's always our default one page location is under home that's cool press publish so that will load there and we want to kind of position it just there I'm going to push it there so in this in this in the nav bar I want it just after services so now if I click that tab now what you'll see is a what people say page pop into this box okay um, obviously that's dropped down because there's not enough room in the nav box section so that's a bit of work for us to do now if I click through to that page it's automatically linked through and then if you wanted to add your testimonials here what we can do um, so if we're going to put the content here we can say add a block click on that go to blocks there's a thing called page title what people say yep that will kind of load in as a h1 if we want to put a bit of text in and just explain what we want the people to look at so here again content so we have tons of great review great reviews 
take a look. Okay, and add that. And then if I want to add uh, my testimonials, so you may have noticed while I was working on the site, uh, we had a few testimonials set up around the, around the site. So I'm not going to do the hard work for myself and set the block and set the images size and all that kind of stuff. I'm just going to go back and get that from another page. So what we're going to do, go to services, so I know they're on there. If we come down, so there's one Lee Finney. So let's click on uh, public edit button, sorry. So here, what I'm going to do, click on copy to clipboard. And we're going to come out of edit mode. Save changes. So I've done nothing really. We're going to go back to what people say. And this is a block for our testimonial tool. So if I click on edit again. Let's go full width. So let's say add a block. And now up here. Drop that down. Click on clipboard because I copied it to clipboard remember. And then just click on that one there. Studio testimonials. And there we go. So that will load in as formatted as it is on the other pages. And now if we say we want to set that to show all testimonials. We can come inside. Again this is a block. So I'm going to set that to multiple. And I'm going to set this. Uh to come on I'm just going to refresh the page sorry sometimes when you copy stuff from the clipboard it acts a little bit strange it kind of confuses it generally I find if you give it a little refresh it sorts it out so let's click on that again Oh, it won't let me show all testimonials. Oh, let me select that box. Weird. Mm. That is crazy. There we go. I don't know what's going on there. Um, <clears throat> maybe just the angle had to come from an angle. <laughs> yeah. If we come down, it kind of. Uh, weird there we go so i'm going to press that in we haven't got 20 testimonials i know i've got more than um more than two more than one so we've got two loading so they'll just keep loading in so now whenever we add testimonials through the back end it will kind of keep loading them in um and showing them at random cool um so i think that's enough to just to kind of show you the basics of concrete five um I'll probably do it a more specialised videos, so i.e. adding images, working with blog posts, adding testimonials, all that kind of stuff individually. So you've got different ones to choose from um, rather than having to watch an 18 minute video every time. But as you can see, it's dead simple to work with. Um, <clears throat> some things will be based on the way the site's set up for the use. So example here um, and then, yeah, you can pretty much do whatever you need to do with it. So it's pretty cool. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to just drop me a, a line. Drop me an email at maltdesign.co.uk or leave some comments in the video box below. But thanks for watching. Speak soon. Thanks a lot. Bye.